Today we're going to install the Takancha Modulite ZCI. There's nothing else like it anywhere. It's an absolutely state-of-the-art and revolutionary solution to traditional trailer power module and vehicle trailer connection problems. ZCI stands for Zero Contact Interface, which sounds complicated, but it's really a snap. ZCI requires no cutting or splicing of vehicle wires. ZCI sensors simply snap over wires to detect current flow and activate trailer lights. This is vital for vehicles with complex wire systems and vehicles with warranties that don't allow snipping, cutting, or splicing. The ZCI works with every wiring system on the market today, including vehicles which use pulse width modulation, multiplexing systems, low side switching, and even those N, do not cut or splice, and D, dealer only codes. This allows installers to immediately accommodate any customer. The installation of this product requires the installer to possess an intermediate to advanced skill level. If you prefer professional installation, see our dealer locator at www.taconcha.com to find an installer near you. Be sure you've reviewed all caution and warning messages. Reference the handy troubleshooting guide if you have any questions once installed. Installation instructions are included with your product. Review the list of parts and tools necessary for proper installation. Please note your vehicle may require additional tools. Also, separate power wiring kits are available if required. Once you're sure you've got everything you need, the next step is to determine what type of vehicle wiring system you're dealing with, the location of the vehicle inputs, and their functions. A guide to this process is provided in the installation instructions. For more information about determining what type of vehicle wiring system you're dealing with, you can check out the Hitch and Wiring Application Guide. For example, the vehicle we have here is a BT code, meaning there is a shared brake and taillight function. Once you understand what type of wiring system the vehicle has, it's time to probe the wires to locate inputs. Now that you've located the vehicle's inputs, it's time to attach the ZCI input sensors, which are the key to this product. Make sure you apply the required input sensors as determined in the previous step. Ensure the sensor end is orientated correctly. The arrow on the lid should be pointing towards the vehicle's light. Lay the wire between the sensor's ferrites and snap the lid closed. See figure A. In G-code, or low-side switched vehicles, for all used input sensors, the arrows will be pointing away from the vehicle's lights. Secure all sensor ends with foam tape. Ensure the ends will not move around during operation. See Figure B. Now that we've applied all required input sensors, it's time to ground and power the ZCI. Important! Always remember to disconnect and isolate the vehicle's negative battery terminal prior to connecting any wires. To ground the ZCI, try to use an existing chassis ground. Next, you'll need to connect the ZCI to a constant 12 volt power source, such as the battery or positive post of a fuse panel. Do not use a sourced keyed to the ignition. To connect the ZCI to the power source, follow the installation instructions carefully. Now, wrap the, in case of power loss, notice label around the fuse holder wire. Secure the harness with the cable ties to prevent damage or rattling. Then reconnect the vehicle's negative battery cable. After you've made sure to reconnect the negative battery cable, you're ready for the final step. The Learn Mode. The Learn Mode is a unique and proprietary feature of the ZCI, which syncs the ZCI with the vehicle's lighting functions. Warning: Before initiating Learn Mode, make sure the headlights, taillights, brake lights, right and left turn signals are all turned off. Start the vehicle's engine. Insert the 15 amp fuse into the fuse holder. Activate each function separately, one at a time, for approximately 5 seconds each. That's it, now your ZCI is fully functional. Of course, you'll want to test and verify the installation with a test light, or with a trailer connected. Questions? Review the troubleshooting guide on the installation instructions. And there you have it. And remember, snap, don't snip. For this and other great Takancha products, visit www.takancha.com.